Hey everyone, uh, long time no see. So, I know I promised in the last video I'd do the whole, oh, you know, getting used to living in China sort of thing. But, meh, you'll get that eventually. Uh, I've been here two months now. I've been too busy to record videos, as you can probably guess by the dry state of my channel. Um, <coughs> so today, I wanted to do a little Disney Parks Q&A because by the end of this year, I will have visited every single Disney Park on the planet, which is crazy to even d begin to think about. Hong Kong Disneyland this month. I'm doing Shanghai in June, I'm doing Tokyo in August, and LA in November on my way home. So, I'll do every single Disney park in the world by the end of this year. So, first question is favorite, let me see, favorite ride in each park. Okay, so I've only done Walt Disney World and Disneyland Paris, so that's the only ones I'll be really talking about in this video. Um, so first, Magic Kingdom. My favourite ride in Magic Kingdom is Splash Mountain. Uh, it just, it feels, it's like, it, it's my childhood summed up, is that ride. I was obsessed with it for ages, and I, just, I love it. Next is Epcot. My favourite ride there is Soren. I don't know if you can tell, but I love Epcot. <laughs> so, the music. The visuals, if you're sat in the right seat, uh, just the whole experience of it that just it puts a smile on my face every time I go on it. Uh, Hollywood Studios, my favorite ride there is Tower of Terror. A lot of people know that Tower of Terror is my favorite ride anywhere in the world, in any theme park or amusement park. Tower of Terror, I adore that ride, and I'll talk more about that later. Yeah. Uh, Animal Kingdom, my favourite ride there is Dinosaur. With Expedition Everest coming in close second. Um, I just, Dinosaur, again, it makes me feel like a little kid again. Um, I love it. I love that ride. Disneyland, like Paris, like the Disneyland Park there is uh, Hyperspace Mountain. I think it's a really, really unique spin on the um, Space Mountain um, sort of experience the way at the launch and you know going upside down you're doing inversions on Space Mountain is great uh, yeah I love that I'm going to talk more about Tomorrowland later as well um, and then in Walt Disney Studios Tower of Terror obviously it's great so, second question is, my favourite quick service. Uh, it was going to take too long to talk about each of the different parks, and it was really hard to decide. Um, but it's great, I'll talk about it anyway. Magic Kingdom, favourite quick service? Probably Columbia Harbour House. Uh, a few years ago, I was sat in there, it was just me and Nathan, my twin brother. Um, we just sat there, we were at the parks late one night, and it was just... I don't even know why, it just, I have this vivid memory of this great experience at Columbia Harbour House. And who doesn't love fried seafood? Fried seafood's great. My favourite quick service in Epcot is, I'm torn between Electric Umbrella, I know it's like really trashy American style food, but it reminds me of what I imagine the 80s was like, like the original Epcot. <laughs> Um, that, Sunshine Seasons, because it's great, it's really good food as well, and Katsura Grill, because if you know me in real life, you'll know that Katsu Curry is one of my favourite foods ever. Uh, my favourite quick service in Hollywood Studios is, it's a really hard one, because it's not technically a restaurant, it's Trolley Car Cafe because Starbucks, like, Trolley Car Cafe is great. 
and one of my favourite things to do is always on our first day, whenever we go to Disney, is we'll go to Hollywood Studios on the first day. So cameras just moving. Um and that first walk in and just turn straight to Trolley Car Cafe and then getting a coffee and then pink drink, obviously, and walking down Sunset Boulevard. It's it's the best. It the best. Um I've not been to Galaxy's Edge yet. I'm very much looking forward to going, so I can't wait to try the food there, because that's going to be really, really good. And my favourite quick service in Animal Kingdom, again, it's a toss-up between Yak and Yeti quick service, or the, I can't remember the full name of it, because that mini mango pie is to die for, and also um, Satouli Canteen, because the um, shrimp, like the spicy shrimp noodle ball, I loved that the first time I tried it and then coming over to China there's a restaurant there's like a little food place opposite my flat that does essentially the food from Satuli Canteen and it is so good to just be able to have it again but yeah so Columbia Harbour House uh, Katsura Grill, Troy Car Cafe, and Satur Canteen. So, another question I got was my favourite land or pavilion in each of the parks. This was really, really easy. Uh, first of all, because the Walt Disney Studios in Paris doesn't really have lands or pavilions, shall we say. It's got like the Toy Story, like the Pixar part. And that's pretty, like, really well designed. And I can't wait to see what to do with the France Pavilion, with the Remy attraction now going to Epcot. So I'm excited to see that. But starting from the beginning, Magic Kingdom, Tomorrowland. I adore Tomorrowland. I just the music and the vibe there, I love it. Except Carousel Progress, but I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> That's for another video to, about my hatred for Carousel of Progress. <laughs> um, Epcot, my favourite pavilion is in Future World, it's the land, because Sauron and Sunshine Seasons, and also Living with the Land, which is a classic. And in World Showcase, it is Japan. I just, I really like that pavilion. I think the food there's really good. And it's a sort of like beautiful little area with that amazing sort of department store that's in there. I can't remember the name of it right now. I probably should have written that down. Um, and also the China Pavilion. You know, it's it's sort of accurate, sort of good food, but I'm living in Shenzhen, so it's like a massive city, so I'm not getting the whole, like, the sort of tower that you see in the China Pavilion. I'm not, I, there's not really many of them around. So yeah, Japan in World Showcase is beautiful. I need to spend more time in the Morocco Pavilion, because I've never, never really spent time there. I feel like I should. So I'm gonna, next time I go to Epcot, I'm going to try and spend a lot more time really looking deeper into the pavilions. It's something I've never really done. Uh, Hollywood Studios. Again, I've not been to Galaxy's Edge, so I can't really comment on that. Um, but I do love what they've done with Grand Avenue, like leading up to it. It looks amazing. Um, Toy Story Land is amazing, again, but there's no shade. So that's a massive downfall for that is there's no shade to kill yourself off in. So I'm probably going to say my favourite area, shall we say, of Hollywood Studios is uh, Sunset Boulevard. Like walking down that towards Tower of Terror and you've got Fantasmic, you've got Beauty and the Beast, you've got Rock and Roller Coaster. It's great. You know, walking down there, pink drink in hand, straight down to Tower of Terror. It's great. I keep doing, I keep doing hand gestures. I don't know why. I'm just really tired. So I've got this. And um, Animal Kingdom, my favourite area, is uh, Asia. Like, I love Pandora, but at night, they've got the whole bioluminescent thing, but you still can't really see where you're going. It's always really crowded in there because Flight Passage is incredible. 
and everyone goes to it. But I really like Asia because of the food and the rides. And it's just, it's a really nice atmosphere there. I really like it. And the scenery and sort of imagineering that's went into the Asia area. I love it. Okay, so while I just seen this video, I came to the realisation that it was about... The first half of the video was about 10 minutes long. So this is part one of this video. So be sure to stick around for part two. You know, like, comment, questions down below. You'll probably get the same message at the end of part two. But yeah. But yeah. Stick around for part two. I'll be coming out eventually. <laughs> See how busy I am. But yeah. Bye.